Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well and hope you're enjoying the content. Right, as promised, a little bit about the habitation side of things in the Volkswagen Auto Homes camper van. Anyway, so all rather lovely really. Um, you have a lovely cooker. And so double burner and grill complete with original and genuine pan loads of storage let's get this open obviously it's full let's get that down there so i'll keep spare camping cooker spare gas spare cutlery pots and pans nice fridge this was an additional fridge not the original the original was 240 volt and it no longer i don't know whether it was so old it never ran on gas but anyway this one is a i suppose you could call it like a combi fridge so it runs on 12 volt so when you're driving um the alternator charges the main engine battery once that's full you hear a click under the driver's seat and the relay starts to charge the leisure battery once the leisure battery is full it then activates the fridge or diverts the power to the fridge and then you get lovely cool so if you've got an hour drive to wherever you're camping um when you arrive you've got lovely cold beer and i'll just pull this out of the way there's nothing wrong with the carpets underneath i just always kept them covered up so you've got storage under here i think years ago that would be for um, you could squeeze a gas cooker in there and a very very small camping toilet but we don't use that you have storage here and storage here heaven knows what's happened to the um cupboard doors i think they were it did used to have cupboard doors but you know they're long gone i might do a demo of that one day it's a collapse or collapse um portable shower so you have water and the classic whale so running water lovely sinks good better let that go and just recently cleaned all that that's all good you have a drainer so that runs out under the van and that also runs out under the van cutlery drawer and the classic vanity section for getting ready obviously we don't use it for that oh it's just odds and sods and spares you have storage up here we use this for uh pharmaceutical stuff and then you have storage up here this is our games cupboard games and books and crosswords the wardrobe as discussed earlier and i'll get the camera down in a minute and we'll look at the let's just pop that down pop this down pop this down it's my solar panel which we use in the summer just to keep um keep the van charged while we're not using it let's just drop that down so that i've got another table let's get this in position like so you have to excuse me being in the way just move a few bits is always the case so is this in view yep so this lifts up and comes towards you and underneath there's a little tab and a leg that drops down and as i said earlier on the previous video you're always trying to be extra careful with everything you interact with really just because um you don't want anything breaking it's not going to be a great demo of the rock and roll bed is it because we can look at the mechanism but the um, back cushions are out so the rock and roll bed is like that you'll have one cushion two cushion and then normally you'd have the um engine cover on which i've currently got rust in rust inhibitor soaking in and drying 
you have the engine cover on the engine, then the draw mechanism, and then the drawers, and on top there's another cushion, exactly the same as these two, and you've got a great big bed. And, oh, it's a nice transition. So, up top we have another sleeping compartment. Pretty well appointed, really. It has its own light, um, obviously ventilation, little windows, again, like I say, very careful with all the items of the van, fabrics, materials, etc. They're up for being changed soon. So these are the uh, great big piano hinges. They're rusty, but I lubricate them every year. Piano hinges up the back, and then piano hinges all the way along here. And that's just red, red fabric, rubber grease where it's stained. Um, this is how the mechanism works. You undo these little tabs and they lock into positions up there. I keep air beds up here. Um, primarily, you know, it's nice for my daughter when she sleeps up here because, um, you know, it's nice and comfy. But also, when you drop down the elevating roof, that stops it from, you know, it just makes it fit nice and tight. This is the quick release that locks the elevating roof. If you imagine just in front of here, there's like an old Land Rover <laughs> bonnet strike that clamps down the front of the roof and the clamps on the outside there. And also you undo this and you slide this out. It's always, always fun and games. Let me just sit down a minute. Just so if it is fun and games, I've got two hands. It's a two piece mechanism. It's a two piece mechanism and it's got like hooks. There you go. I'm sure anyone who's watching has ever had one of these, they feel my pain. Because if you lose the secondary part of the lid during pulling it out, then you spend the next It's in there, it's in there. Anyway, let's just put this, I'm not gonna do all that. Yeah, as I'm gonna say, as I say, people probably feel my pain. Because if you lose that other part of this board, which is only held by these little clips, little spring-loaded clips, it's stuck up underneath the cabin, oh uh, sorry, uh, above the, the cab where you drive, and you can spend half an hour of your setting up getting it together. Anyway, so it's quite a nice space up there, so when you think about it, this is the where the rock and roll bed ends. And as I move the camera up, this is where the other bed ends. And there is another section that brings it to approximately here. So technically, there's more space up here. It's nice, it's nice up at the top. Let's get the camera in, just see if we can see all around there. Yeah, it's nice, it's a nice space. It's a nice space up there. Anyway, I'll have to work on getting that board out later. I'll hop up and put this back. So the bed is incredibly comfortable. That's that in position. Again, the fabric's all right. Like I was saying in a previous video about the van, I'll just keep things covered up just to, um, so they last longer really, more than anything. There's a little knack to getting that in, like so, that's good, and we're back. Lovely. Um, and I think, sorry, I think I mentioned this in a previous video. There's been a a bit of a shortage of 4.5 kg gas, so we're a bit stuck at the moment. So we have oven that runs off the electrics when you're hooked up and we have a camping gas butane cooker that just runs on these like emergency things in there all right not the end of the world not ideal but it's not the end of the world the consumer box is in there um all the gas pipes have been renewed so all the pipes in the back all the transport pipes um that run along the side of the van 
and into the gas gas storage system which is underneath the wardrobe they're all new and refreshed and perfect i think you can just about see them in there yeah lovely new electrics new gas obviously fire alarm and there is another uh, so there's a smoke alarm as well just in case all the original lights work which is very very pleasing uh, i've replaced the normal ones like these with leds because they produce more light and they use less power and oh these are just sitting here these are a handy thing to have just a, a random selection of extremely strong magnets from Amazon. So when the van was born, they had like little Velcro tabs on the curtains and it would stick. But of course, that is long since stopped working. So now, because um, the worst thing when you wake up in the morning, if it's this bright and uh, had a few beers in the late night, it took a while to get to sleep, etc. Particularly if you're somewhere like Santa Pod or Raceway or something, um, you want to make sure there's no light coming in. Anyway. Oh, we should have done a bit about the jump seat. The jump seat. The jump seat has storage. Also, down there, quite a lot of storage. And that seat pulls forward quite a long way on rails. It will spin around 180 degrees and point that way. Um, so you can use it as a passenger seat if you wish. Um, it will also rotate 90 degrees that way. And then the back folds flat and the little puffy box provides a support and that turns into a bench and that way you can get a table in this section so you can sit and have a proper family meal with a bench seat across there the bench seat that i'm sitting on here and you can sit and have a proper family meal and one person can be near the cooker one person can be near the washing up <laughs> and it works quite well anyway uh that is it i will do a bit a bit uh, a little bit about the jump seat i must admit because the jump seat is brilliant absolutely brilliant so i'll do a little bit about that in my next video anyway i'm firmly staying off the camera today because i am boiling anyway beyond boiling all right let's just put the camera on the tripod a minute it should be right there just gonna get the door open oh. being an old van getting the door open is a two-handed operation so that's how the lid looks. Quite an impressive structure, really. Quite an impressive structure. <laughs> we always call it two up, two down living. <laughs> Quite an impressive structure. Let's just get a shot from here. That's the pistons to hold it up because it is insanely heavy. Right, sorry about that. Just doing my final walk around and final summary and the GoPro went flat. Anyway, so I had to put it in the fridge. <laughs> it's too hot. Oh, there's the system that clamps the roof down to that area there on the top of the cab. And that is the roof mechanism, the elevating roof mechanism. As I was saying, probably lost my train of thought a little bit, but it is very good. It's very, very good. It's like the, the vans magic trick and probably one of the best parts about it it's very very nice anyway that is it for habitation area sleeping areas roof thanks for watching as always if you're enjoying the content please consider a like and subscribe maybe smash that bell button so you get notifications until the next one thanks ever so much for watching take care bye bye